everyone, welcome back to The Lounge Online. You'll notice that I'm not in our usual meeting space, The Lounge. I'm in my lounge. Um, so that is because we're all on lockdown and I film these videos a few days in advance. But um, I hope you enjoy the change of scenery. I'm hoping that the lighting doesn't change too much and um, you can't hear any of the road traffic noise. Um, today's session is going to be on godly character, so kind of having a look about what attributes we have, what our char characteristics are, um, and what the Bible says about that and who God's made us to be. So let's begin. In the description of this video, you'll find a link, um, and that link is to a Mr Bean clip that I'd love you to go and watch now, and then we'll regather for some kind of thoughts about that. I hope you enjoyed that funny Mr Bean clip. That was to just introduce the idea of modelling godly character, that we can turn our backs on things like cheating, swearing, gossiping, and turn towards a more godly life of um, being kind and loving and understanding people. So we're going to do a few activities to kind of explore that. We're going to look at the Bible and what that says. Um, and then at the end, we're going to have a reflection and pray together. So, grab a piece of paper and um, draw someone that you admire. This someone could be someone that you know, it could be a friend at school, it could be someone in your life that's a bit older than you and you kind of look up to, um, or it could be a celebrity or like a public figure. So, on your paper, draw them nice and big, and then what I'd like you to do is around that, draw attributes that they have that make you admire them. So maybe they're really loyal, maybe they're kind, they're funny, Maybe they are um, really great at listening to you. Maybe they're strong. What is it that makes you admire them? Great, well done on that activity. Um, please do, if you'd like to, send it through email or through the youth Instagram page. Um, I do miss being creative with you guys sat around the table, colouring, drawing, writing, being silly. So if you'd like to, I would love to see whatever it is that you've created. So we're going to have a look at a few Bible verses now. There are quite a few, um, so if you'd like to, of course, do follow in, follow with your Bible. Um, they'll also be popping up just here, and I'll write them in the description below. The first one we'll look at is Galatians 5, uh, verse 22. It's one that we've looked at quite a few times this year already. Can you remember what it is? It is the fruit of the Spirit. So it says the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. For such there is no law. So um, what I'd like you to do is again grab a piece of paper and some pens and instead of drawing someone that you admire, this time draw yourself. It can be um, an absolute masterpiece of a creation or it can just be a stick man, whatever you'd like to do. So I'll give you a few seconds to draw that. And then what I'd like you to do is, based off of these verses that we're going to read together, um, write around the side of your drawing the words that stick out that are about godly character. So for this one, Galatians 5, um, I think a lot of it is about godly character. I think you'd agree. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. All of these things describe what it would be like to live a godly life. To be loving, joyful, peaceful, kind, good, faithful, gentle, and to have self-control. So write those things all around your drawing of yourself. The next verse we'll look at is 1 Corinthians 13, 4-7, which says, Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonour others, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. It always protects, it always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. This verse um, is often, these few verses are often read out at um, weddings, but actually um, the writer of uh, Corinthians, Paul, was writing about um, friendship love. So what words from these few verses can you write around your drawing of yourself? Patience, kindness again, not envying, not being boastful, 
not being proud, not dishonouring others, not self-seeking, not being quick to be angry and not keeping a record of wrongdoings. I'll give you a few minutes to write uh, those down. So by now your page should be filling up and the next verse we're going to look at is Colossians 3, 12 to 14. And that says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Now, this verse um, is a little bit different, you might have noticed. Instead of going straight into saying what you should be, you know, you should be loving, you should be patient. It tells you um, what you already are. Let me go back to it. Um, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved. You are God's chosen person. He's chosen you. You're on this planet for a reason and you are dearly loved. So maybe you can write that somewhere on your drawing. I am dearly loved. I am chosen. And then following on from that, what uh, what specific words come out from this verse about um, having godly character? The final few verses are from 2 Peter 1, 5 to 7. It says, for this reason, make every effort to add up your faith goodness and to goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness mutual affection, and to mutual affection love. So um, in that verse there's quite a few words of adding up to each other. Um, In my head I kind of picture it as you're starting with, um, in every effort, add to your faith goodness. So you've got goodness at the bottom, and then you're adding to that knowledge. And on top of all that knowledge you're adding self-control. And then you're adding perseverance and godliness and mutual affection and love. So for the final time, what godly characteristics, giving you a bit of a hint in just um, explaining them, um, what godly characteristics can you write on your piece of paper? I'll give you a few minutes for that. As I was planning this session, I realised that there's quite a few repeats in the verses that I've given you. Um, quite a few little words that kind of pop up through each of the verses and quite a few of them uh, fit in with the fruit of the spirit love and joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control maybe you've decided to um, only write those words once or maybe you've written them down a couple of times to just really emphasize about how important they clearly are to be mentioned in the Bible that many times in just a few verses that we've looked at. So now take a look at your drawing. What words have you got written down? What words do you find um, or what actions do you find harder to live, live out? And what ones come naturally to you? Maybe you are naturally a kind person. Maybe you're naturally joyful. You're naturally patient with your friends. Perhaps um, you find it a bit hard to have self-control. Perhaps you find it hard to forgive others. I think we all find that one quite hard, which is perhaps why in Matthew, um, who was it? I think it was Peter came up to Jesus and said, how many times do I have to forgive those who sin against me? Seven times, Peter suggests. And Jesus says, no, not seven times, but seven times, 70 times. He doesn't just say this um, to say that you've got to forgive someone exactly 490 times, which is what seven times 70 is. Um, But Jesus says this as if to say, no, 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 not just seven times, which you can count on two hands, but so many times that you lose count. That's how many times we should be forgiving people. So many times that you lose count. What words on your paper are easy for you? And what words do you perhaps need to spend a bit of time in prayer and asking God to um, give to you? So to finish, um, let's pray. And then I have a song also in the description that I'd like you to listen to. The song is called Be My Everything and it's about God being in your everything, from your waking to your sleeping and everything in between. I'd love it for you to use those lyrics as kind of a starter for a prayer. 
praying that um, God would mould you into um, the person that he's made you to be with all these kind of godly characteristics that we've mentioned today. May God be in your everything. Thank you, Lord God, for the technology that means that we can still meet in some way together to have community and to learn about you. I pray that you would mould us into godly characters. Give us the fruit of the Spirit. May we be quick to forgive others and may we be slow to anger and quick to love. Make us into the people that you want us to be. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have loved us so dearly, that you care about us and that you want relationship with us. I pray for your Holy Spirit to dwell on the young people as they have a think about what godly characteristics you've already given them and the places that they could grow in, maybe the places that they're struggling in. Holy Spirit, would you mould these young people? Pour out your love and blessings on them. Would you speak to them, Lord? Would you whisper? Would you be loud and clear? Holy Spirit, would you write something on their hearts that they just see it can't seem to shake off? Holy Spirit, place something on their minds that can only be from you. God, would you be in our everything, be in our waking, in our sleeping, and in everything in between? I pray for the young people as they're in lockdown, and I pray that you'd strengthen them, be their sustenance, keep them going. We love and trust you, God. Amen. Great, thank you so much for joining me at the Lounge Online for another week. Um, just a few kind of notices that I'd love for you to check out our Lightbox Instagram and Facebook page where we're posting some challenges and some funny videos. So this week it's been um, a challenge of hashtag Lightbox Bakes where we're asking you guys to bake at home and then post it on social media for us all to kind of enjoy your tasty bakes. And the second one, um, Ollie had a go at the toilet roll keepy uppy challenge, which is a really great watch. So um, have a look at that. Again, on Wednesday, we'll be meeting on Zoom at four o'clock um, for about 40, 45 minutes. So remember to be there. Um, and I think that's probably all the notices for the time being. I hope you guys are keeping well and I'll see you next week for the lounge online. See ya.